Hi, this is Carrie with Compass Tools. Today I'm going to go over um, the steps for connecting your Trimble Geo7X to a, a VRS network. Now, uh, the first thing to understand is that VRS networks can be provi provided by a variety of people, in particular um, state agencies that um, run those VRS locations. Those locations can uh, be free at times, and sometimes they do cost money, so just be aware of that. I did find um, a VRS network in Iowa that was... Um, no cost to the user, so what I did was uh, search for the Iowa DOT uh, VRS, that's Iowa Department of Transportation, and I found their web page which has this map of all of their uh, base station locations. And um, at the bottom here you can click this registration button which allows you to connect as a user to their network. Um, they do ask you for your name and your email address, including um, the reasons for using their network, and you just click the Submit button. You will receive an email from the Iowa DOT. Um, this email does contain an IP address, a port, username, and password information. You'll use this information to um, plug into your Trimble so you can connect to the VRS network. So I'm going to switch over to my Trimble device here. Let's see. And I'm going to launch the TerraSync software application. So you'll see that pop, here, pop up here. And right out of the gate we'll notice that TerraSync is trying to connect to our satellites up here. That's using our GNSS satellite locations. And it's very important to note that in order for the VRS base stations to work, uh, we will need to keep and maintain a wireless internet connection. So I will go to my Trimble and make sure that my wireless connections are turned on. So I hit the settings icon, if you saw me click on that gear icon, and I'm going to go to connections, and wireless manager, right here, and right up at the top we'll choose Wi-Fi, and I click right on that Wi-Fi bar, and it says it's connecting. We'll give that a second to connect completely to our Compass Wi-Fi connection, and I'm going to go back to TerraSync. There we go, and it does say that we've locked into a couple of satellites, but we're going to change our, uh, our network connection by going into Status and Setup. This is where we normally would connect to the GNSS settings, but instead of using those, we will use the real-time settings. So click on the real-time settings option. Under the real-time settings, we've got choice one. We will use this drop-down arrow to change to external source. Click on the wrench icon. and we'll see a new window pop up that um, allows us to input the IP address, the port, the username, and password. I'm going to minimize my keyboard so you can see more of the screen here. Under Type, we'll choose VRS, Serial Port, we'll change to Internet, and under address, we'll enter the IP address that the Department of Transportation sent to us to connect to their VRS. So usually an IP address is a string of numbers, uh, maybe 155.99.012.99. Uh, that might be an example of a, a com, uh, an IP address, but um, you'll have to get that from the VRS network provider. 
um, I'm going to go ahead and enter our VRS network. And then we'll change our port location. The default is 80, but we'll change that to the port location given to us by the network uh, provider. And after we've completed that entry, I'm going to click on this wrench icon. Now this is going to connect to uh, the server tables and when it's done it'll say request finished. If you've received an error message there might be a multitude of reasons why and so we can uh, look into that together if you need to call us. Um, right now uh, we do have a connection to our server tables and I'm going to expand this window just like in Excel you can click and drag that window open so you can see the complete file name for the server table. Uh, we do recommend that you use the CMR plus or the CMRX uh, server table option. So I'll click on CMRX and then I'll hit done. Now it's asking for our username and our password. That information we received from the VRS provider and I will go ahead and enter that in here. And click done. So as the VRS uh, needs a minute to connect, go ahead and give it a second to connect up there. And then what we'll notice is um, this status will change. So right now it says it's waiting for real-time corrections. That means it's not receiving or not connected yet. But let's give it another minute. It does say we're at 37 meters, which is quite high. give it another minute here. It does look like it's kind of jumping back and forth on that uh, real-time setting connection there. So it's waiting for our connection. We'll notice this number is slowly dropping. So now we'll notice it says applying real-time corrections from external source. Uh, when you've connected to the um, VRS network, this will change and say that, that you're connected. Um, this window will drop down to, instead of 20 meter connection uh, length, it'll drop down to something like um, much more reasonable, usually in the centimeter range. So. Um, Thank you for joining me today with Compass Tools, and please give us a call if you have any questions about connecting to VRS.